22 right here. Someone else already got number one. I couldn't even get the first one. Like washing it up in the sink. Looks like we got a 175 times two and a big fat 750 times one at one ohm. I'll let Tony D himself explain what he means by clean D and what they've done to make these different than your typical class D amplifier that's out there. But for right now, I'm gonna hook these things up and we're gonna test them. Bad boys are hooked up. We got lights. We got wires. We got it all. We're good to go. We just need to set the gains real quick. I want to hear how this thing sounds before I do any kind of testing. base knob all the way up. Base knob is all the way up, no distortion. And I'm gonna start turning this up. There we go, got a little bit of distortion right there. Back it down a little bit until the light goes out. You know the way it is nowadays, I can't hardly use any kind of music on YouTube because I'll get hit with copyright. So if I don't own the music, I can't let it ride. I might be able to do a couple little quick little snippets just to let you know that it is slapping and it does sound good, but you know I gotta mix it up and uh, 
Yeah, unfortunately, I don't want to get busted for copyright, but I am going to bust me a little bit of Ritz right now and uh, see how it sounds. Maybe a couple other various artists. We got this right here. Oh, yeah. We'll see how it sounds. Just so you're aware of what those amps are hooked up to right now, I got the bass amp hooked up to these two 18s right here, which each have two passive radiators supporting them, one on each side. I mean, don't get me wrong, these 18s are like 3,500 watts RMS a piece. So, the amp is not going to be able to push them straight out of the box like you would think. But we will get an idea of what they sound like. And the highs are hooked up to my test bench mids and highs right here, this little box. These are CT Sounds coaxials. They've always been in here. They sound great. I love them. No reason to change them right this second. So, with that being said, let's turn this shit up. See how it sounds. Alright, so now I'm going to have to chop this up because I can't do the copyright, but... We're gonna be able to hear it. So if you're out there in YouTube land, you got headphones or anything, you might be able to pick up what we're listening to a little bit better than on your phone, so. I should be able to turn this all up to 48. I'm pretty sure that was my original number. next door yeah. so that may not be the greatest visual example because those woofers can handle like I don't know more than 10 of those amplifiers put together so just the fact they're even moving like that is a good thing maybe I should put a smaller speaker on it and really get it moving just out of the principality of the situation and then we'll pop this thing on an AMM one and see how much power it's putting out while it's doing it so far that's some of the cleanest class D amplification I've heard so far I'm sure there's awesome stuff out there but for me you can't even tell that it's class d you might have way more picky ears than me even the engineers that make these amps know class a b is better but for what it is class d and the size the size of those amplifiers are they sound great we're not a conscious the one was there to tell him it was time to the bar but they shared one car he would pick up a drop from drunk from the drunk That's right, I cracked a brand new woofer out of the card and just to flex it on this amp. Pretty best looking speaker, huh? I like the banana plugs already ready to You can run all day long. First person to tell me who this is in the comments, without me telling you who it is, is gonna get the SMD SK1 steak knife used in this video. So let's see. Let's see if we can uh should be able to dyno out 750 on this with the speaker. Now remember, this thing's hooked up to a speaker. It's not hooked up to a big fat load bank. So when it moves, the impedance changes. So we may not see the 750. I hope we do though. Yeah, that was easy, no problem, no problem. Okay, so the music has nothing to do with anything anymore. This is just pure test tones being fed into it. Let's see, what we got here. T 
10 hertz. Look at that. Oh! Them. I'm making a YouTube video and uh, you know I got that executive privilege I got that phone number so I hope you don't mind I got you on FaceTime right now I'm not showing you right now but is it okay you good yeah. oh yeah we got Tony D right here we're filming um, and I got just a real quick question e750.1 e350 point these are class D amps right I know you're all about that class A and that class AB but clean D can you please explain why this is cleaner than regular class D I mean I, I I can't explain it as well as you can. The process is pretty much the same as any other Class D, but what makes it clean is the kind of filters that we use in it. So we saw a problem with uh, all the Class Ds that we had tested in here. When they clip, they get really ugly, and uh, at high frequencies, it's, there's a lot of garbage that still comes out, and it had to do with the output filter. So we use really good output filters, and also we have EMI filtering, on the B plus, which was the other part of the clean D. A lot of the, uh, most other class D amps don't have this, and it causes a lot of electrical noise to get into the 12 volt system of the car, and that can trigger check engine lights and all kinds of other random errors, so, so we have EMI filtering also on, on that connection. So um, with those things, it's just a lot less electrically noisy. Okay. Well, I remember when uh, we were at Knowledge Fest and you broke out an amp, an unnamed amp, but pretty much they're all going to have pretty much the same symptoms. And we turned it on and 20 feet away, we had an AM radio on and it just cut off. It stopped. It stopped playing, period. And will this amp do that? I have it right here. <laughs> it's my little, uh, my little tester. Okay. All right. Well, this one's not doing that. Well, uh, real, another real quick question. Can that mess with FM signals as well? It can. It can? Okay, so yeah. you, might just, you might just have bad reception, or you might think you're having bad reception, but if you have a truck loaded with Class D amps, you could be cutting off your own reception by that alone, huh? Yeah, just depending on what, you know, harmonics are coming out of the amp, you could mess up any kind of wireless. Bluetooth, I mean, I, uh, FM, AM. I saw it, I heard it with my own two ears. When that amp just, just being turned on, 15 feet away it cut that radio off so I never even knew that class D could do that so um, obviously class A B is king class A class A B whatever but for class D you want it to be as clean as you possibly can if you're gonna do it and uh, I'm over here playing with these and I had to call you because these things sound good I know that there's people that are gonna be a lot more picky than I am but I personally I'm listening to it and it's nothing's jumping out at me like this is terrible so, I don't know, man. I just want to call you and have you explain that a little bit. I'm going to send people over to your website. I'm going to put the link right here. Is there anything else you want to say about it? No, I'm good, dude. I appreciate you for, yeah. for calling me up and asking. No worries, man. Where can people get these amps at? Because I don't have them. I'm not selling them or anything yet. Yet. I may become a dealer, maybe. But where can you get them right now if you want to buy one? If you want them right now, you can go to themoregeneric.com and they're, they're there. Okay, cool. All right, well, there you have it. And, um... I appreciate it, and uh, I'm out of here. I gotta finish this video up, man. Thanks, brother. Right on. I'll talk to you later. Right, but there you have it, right there. Who knows just how good it'll be to somebody who's super picky? But Tony's picky, and everybody he hangs out with is super picky. And I'm a little bit picky. I like my beats, but I also like to sound good. And uh, these amps definitely sound good. They're definitely putting out their power. I haven't tested this one yet. It's the more engineering, you know, it's gonna put out its power, and then some and be clean doing it. I just wanted to crack that box open and see what these are all about. Can't wait to put them in something, try them out. I have an idea exactly where they're gonna go. I just can't tell you yet, you'll see soon. I'm gonna enjoy them on my test bench for a little bit, listen to them, they'll go on to an amp rack and they're gonna go make somebody really happy real soon. Thanks for watching and I'm out of here.
reviews. Don't forget to get your SMD SK1 over at WCCarAudio.com. Each one of these is individually serial numbered. And the sleeve is signed. You'll be opening up boxes like a champ, like a pro.